Hello, I'm Mark Richmond from Chef Knives To Go, and today I'm going to show you how to force a patina on a carbon steel knife. Uh, carbon steel knives are fun to try, uh, especially if you like to sharpen knives because they usually sharpen up really easily. And the knife I'm going to use today is the Fujiwara Carbon Steel uh, 240 millimeter Gyoto. These are real popular knives and they're really good first carbon steel knives for people to try. Um, primarily because they're really inexpensive and they're pretty good. Uh, they have a really nice kanji engraving on them. And uh, the only downside with carbon knives is that they rust. So forcing a patina on the knife will help protect the knife and keep it from reacting to food and water and acid. Uh, it's not it doesn't completely protect it, but it definitely slows down the process. Uh, when you care for the knife, uh, I usually like forcing a patina, but you'll get one anyways as you use the knife. Um, so this is not a, a must do, but it's kind of fun to do. So anyways, uh, when you care for the knife, all you got to do is use it like a regular knife, wash it and dry it when you're done. If you're going to put it away for a while, you can put a couple drops of oil on the knife to help keep the uh, reaction with with moist air down to a minimum. So anyways, here's, here's how we do it. I like to put a little water on a plate. I got this uh, just regular store-bought cheap mustard. Um, and I want to mix up the water and the mustard just to make it easy to put on my bubble wrap. And you can use all kinds of stuff and combinations of things. Uh, you can sponge it on like a faux finish sponge if you're familiar with painting that way. Or you can use a regular uh, paintbrush. Uh, you can put all kinds of designs on here, but I kind of like bubble wrap. So I put the bubble wrap into the mustard. Now I'm just going to dab it on to the blade. Pretty easy. And that's it. Now just leave this, and I think I left mine for about 20 minutes. Um, and once the 20 minutes is up, just clean it off with a, uh, uh, some water, and uh, you're good to go. And I just did this with this knife on the flip side, so here's what it looks like when it's done. Hope you can see that behind the glare. Kind of gives it a little dappled finish look to it, and uh, and that will help protect the blade. So I'm Mark Richmond. Stay sharp.